Our story starts Wednesday night, December 23rd. We leave right after I get off work, drive 130 miles to Desert Palm Springs, and spend the night there. The next morning, we woke up early and drove the remaining 270 miles to Mesa, Arizona, and the Folks Place. But before starting off on Thursday morning, we had to eat. That meant stopping off at Goody's Cafe, where you can expect a perfect breakfast every time. Well, almost every time. Ooh, this coffee's cold. Unfortunately, we were in a hurry, so I had to eat my breakfast pretty fast. Okay, when I said pretty fast, I meant fast. We finally got on the road, and it was only a matter of time miles and traveling music before we cross the border into Arizona where the state bird is a scorpion and the state animal is a rattlesnake. After that Mary took over the joystick for a while and after a few more miles scenery and driving music we pulled into Mesa and then 120 North Valley Vista Drive unit number 81. I just like to add that with Marion driving any place you go is an adventure in itself. The folks are starting to get up in years, so it's always a relief to see them healthy and that nothing has changed. Smile and say something. <laughs> okay, say something nice for the camera, Mom. Who are you, and what are you doing in my chicken coop? I see dumb people all the time. They don't even know that they're stupid. And I'm looking at one right now. Santa had checked us on his list with the same results. The horror. The horror! Anyway, we got our presents. Maybe he feels sorry for us, or maybe we just scare the shit right out of him. With Marion, opening presents is a time competition, like bulldogging at the rodeo or bulimic models throwing up after a large meal. After opening all the presents, an actual lion tamer and lion put on a special live show for us. Due to close, Mary promised to treat me at a new restaurant in the neighboring town of Chandler. I admit, I was a little hesitant when we pulled up to the restaurant. I mean, an ambulance out front? And it ain't like the heart attack grill? I tried to remember if I'd recently signed any papers that said, Last Will and Testament on it. Okay, if I don't make a run for it now, I never will. Feet, do your thing. How you doing? Shit, too late. I guess this place isn't that bad. First thing you do when you sit down is have your surgical gown put on. Forget any idea you had about this place being a healthy establishment. I mean, come on, it's a heart attack grill. Customers are referred to as patients and orders are prescriptions. Waitresses are dressed as nurses, naughty nurses, and the cooks as doctors. Everything is fried and lard. Only non-filtered cigarettes are sold. If the drinking alcoholic, and it has caffeine in it. None of that sissy flavored tea sold here. The heart attack girl has a diet. It's a high fat, high calorie, but high fun diet. There's even a pig out wall of fame. Joey ate a quadruple in one minute, 47 seconds. 